be. Yeah, well, there's still rules to be made. And, yeah, uh, there's still rules. To be made. Like I, I understand, like wanting to get us like adjusted to each other and the whole feel of the council established. It's just the natural yeah. part of the human brain is to jump to the other extreme. What if every kingdom turn takes this long? Yeah, I'll never course. do anything. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, you know, my my experience with the uh, Kingmaker system is that in the beginning it takes some time, uh, and then as you as you pro- progress through the through the story. Uh, it will get much more, uh, much more quicker. Yeah. But you know, so, sometimes uh, large-scale kingdom stuff will will occur, and that's uh, certainly something uh, worthy of attention uh, and, and lengthy, more lengthy discussion. It won't happen every turn, certainly. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, that's sort of the point of the campaign, right? To have a little bit of this, at least. Um, and it's also important to get, I mean, ideally, some of these sort of player-to-player discussions or player-to-NPC discussions could be had sort of between sessions. Um, yeah. Yep, certainly true. Sort of like, I go talk to Adaria, but, you know, whatever we talk about is not important now. No. It's, but it's also good to, to have some of that sort of bleed back into the, uh, through the general uh, storyline so that, you know, uh, other other players know what what's going on, you know, so informed in the story. We could do everything off screen and just do the combat encounters. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, that that's the other extreme when you go. Oh, it's all interactions just hand waved away. So yes, yes, everyone agrees, and now we're going to kill. No, things. it was more to more to give more time to e- be everyone. So. Yeah. Um. Then in the beginning here, you, you mean you had different. You certainly had different goals and different things you did, and yeah, that split up the party, but... Uh. I'm a diplomat, bitch. I don't have time to do other things. <laughs> You're an expensive I have money to diplomat. Spend. <laughs> You're damn right. It is not cheap to buy my services. <laughs> Those are just bad rolls. <laughs> like, like, I, like, I might have increased on rest, but you're spending four BP per turn. You know, I'm spending four BP per turn, but that helps with the DC roll because of gifts. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Oh, Turn the us. gifts. Turns I sent you, um... Oh, yep, yeah. thank you. That's right. Oh, so many gifts. Besides, my character did prospecting, and he is best prospector. Oh, we didn't find anything, right? But he said that he's going to handle that. Oh, all right. He didn't want to yeah, devote right. the session to... He no, didn't want to devote I mean, the session to dealing with it. No, I. Uh, I mean, you had gone on uh, long enough with yeah. uh, with stuff like that. I will. I will roll it up. Uh, I, see if I, he finds anything. Perfectly fine. I know the. I know the percentage odds. Jonas knows, and my character knows that his knowledge engineering's okay. If I can't yeah. find anything, there's nothing there. <laughs> Almost villain is prospecting service. I mean, come on. I can take ten on knowledge because I have lore master, so it's a knowledge engineering check at twenty six. You will reveal your secrets to me, Jungle. (laughs) Tell me your secrets. That's right. Gently caress the the soil. (laughs) You whisper to it. (laughs) There, there. Yeah, I thought it was okay. There's like a spell that does that, I think. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Where the land whispers to you. I I thought it it went pretty slow, and that's why I had my doubts about us skipping next week. I was like, I think he's going to have enough material Mm -hmm. unless he... Mm -hmm. Like what? What if it? What if next session takes no preparation, Jonas? <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're we playing next week, Corey. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, because yeah, we we it took longer than I anticipated, and uh, we'll we'll do next week. Next week might be a bit shorter if we you know speed up the kingdom phases. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll definitely have something. At least. We if we speed up the kingdom it. phases in between, there is also the entire exploration of the fungal jungle. Yes. Yeah. So we, 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 we can certainly fill out the time. We can certainly manage. Oh, yeah. We will we'll find ways to stretch it out, wink, wink. <laughs> yes. Let's talk again in depth about the, the different things you need for this expedition. Fucking Miku, we need to put a better person on. It, like, really, it should have been the day. Do you want no. Miku to be the diplomat? Because uh, uh, Miku is just, like, ruining everything. <laughs> He's ruining everything. Did, did you like? Did you like how that contract came back? Oh, well, I expected it to. I would have been disappointed yep. at it now. 
Oh, that's what? What? Why is? He, why do you? Why do you think he's ruining everything? I don't think he's ruining everything. <laughs> because real and it would have seen you. them, and we would have just swept that fuck under the rug. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, everything from the yes. <laughs> Everything's in order, quiet. Or if Ivy or someone I could, you know, control. Honest Miku's tell all of Rillin it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I would feel bad for doing stuff like that. He's too nice of a guy. Oh, man. Uh, I'm trying to harness it, and Miku's like, oh, I must perform my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> Bro dot quink is a fungus. Uh, <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Hmm. I don't have a problem with that. I made that deal in good conscience for more benefits than just the uh, that one particular gift. I wanted to encourage this trade. Ugh. I didn't think it would cost eight build points, but I'm fine with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna have a monopoly in trade because no one else can compete. Fucker cost uh, as much as my two diplomatic missions. I mean, my goodness. Like. <laughs> <laughs> When he is done, we will catch him and kill him. <laughs> and, uh, when the contract will, is up, like you start outside. He will and not, and, and whatever heirs he might have will also die in that fire. And then, you know, the oh, same take money and repair whatever building was there. You know, I, I'm willing to put forth the ideas that uh, we kill him and then, you know, put someone in place who pretends to be him doing something so incredibly stupid and foolish. That, oh no, his privilege is gone. Damn. We've put him in a slave camp. <laughs> Whoopsies. He got drunk and spoke blasphemy. You know, but that would, that would require something like, say, alter self, which I, I'm sure someone here can do. Mm. A mask might have that ability. <laughs> well, my character can't directly do it. I didn't feel like taking a spell slot for that. Yeah, that seems excessive for I, I was, I was, I was more referring to uh, the summoner. What? Yeah, the summoner <laughs> wants to do it. Uh, what do we want her to do? They want he wants to turn you into a gnome and have you <laughs> parade around just saying uh, last few pieces things. I mean, so like, you like you know, just an idea. Like you, uh, you have all you have access to all yourself. So uh, the the gnome who has this writ of free trade can uh, be disposed of by agents, and then someone can alter self into looking like this merchant, who then makes egregious public and unfortunate life decisions. Not not to be mean, but why would Tristan do anything for Rillinid? It's no. not for Rillinid, it's for the kingdom. You don't have to give him any money anymore. Alanary has it as the main spell. Yeah. I mean if you if you want to pay and seven she can more. go she can she can go and she can turn into him and she can speak a lot of crap about Rillinid and uh, and then, you know, he'll be punished for it. No, she's not gonna do that. Yes, yes, I'm sure it won't cost any unrest or discontent to uh Denounce one of the members of the council. No, no yep. the high the high priest is, spe is speaking blasphemous things. That's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth is going to be pleased. She is not going to do that. No. You know, you know. Like I said, it's it. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's seven <laughs> BP <laughs> savings. Keep it in mind. Uh, well, is like, yeah, well, the, you know, she hears that. Like, <laughs> really, not is going to fix that then. Ah, uh, good joke. I'm not joking. Damn Neither am I. Oh god. Like I'm not the one who has the resources required to fix this in a sufficient manner. I don't other, have the resources. Other people do have access to the spells required. I don't have alter self. Well, Imanakai admitted to having alter self. Yeah. yeah. Zen could just shoot some people. That would fix things. No. You know, Eleanor's dignity is more worth than money. Any amount. Well, <laughs> uh, she would not lower herself to... Oh no, she would never transform into a no. That no. Would... <laughs> no, well, Tristan. She would feel so dirty, like, so... Yeah. Alright, then. Alright, wonderful. Well... Then the agreement stands. Uh, exactly. Individual pride is, is 
too yep, much. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, that's, that might be the, the poor merchant's uh, slim happiness, basically. You know? for, for a year or two. Mm. Somehow straddling the line there, yes. Yeah, he, he played it perfectly. I guess he played it perfectly. That's what you want him to think, right? Yeah, exactly. Every man's got to get his nickel. I'm going to get mine. Now, next time I want to take an item for a guy, just arrange his death and make it disappear. <laughs> Don't make it deal. Yeah. Mm. Well, and then we'll catch someone who was the killer. Look, I was yeah. level they 2 at confess. the time. I only had so many resources at my disposal at level 2 here. Yeah. Did you see how angry those Veer of Nevlin were? <laughs> they it was a it's a very official document and everything, like that. Seals on it. That's it. I fucking put the seal of House Vithari, which we don't even know what it looks like, but I put it on there. Yeah, it's like Rillanid's signature and like yeah. seals, and it's great. Honest Rillanid's discount of uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Do you want the seal of Vithari on your shit? Well, all this Rillanid's can help. You've come to sells the out. <laughs> Yeah, he sells out. He has, yeah. you know, he slips in papers in front of the, the, the like, pile that Elinari has to sign every day. Yeah. Believe Just... it or not, I have the secret, like, message going back between Jonas where, like, all these BPs that I'm taking for diplomatic edicts are going to a special project. And, uh, yeah, all your money. Because they're being written off as kingdom expenses. They don't cause unrest. <laughs> yep. It's, it's uh, terrible. He, Why are you doing Can we that? do that? Like, he's, he's building a rapture. Like, why oh yeah, we're building like a new village like out in some shithole. So, uh, I'm not intentionally rolling road. fours on the 1D4s, okay? <laughs> yeah. I you would rather that. roll you ones. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all those money you're using for whatever it is. You're not going to tell I'm, us. I'm sure it seemed like a good idea at the time. It, I it, doubt it. It, it. It was, and actually I have no problem with it. Like I said, genuinely saved my character's life. It did. Would do it again without question. Mm -hmm. Needed that. Whatever. I still want to know what it was. It, as a matter of fact, you know, if my character weren't evil, Your protection, something like that. Actually, he probably would have done it even if he were still a neutral or good character. <laughs> you he just would have felt guilty about like, it. But I, I, I <laughs> you're, you're a well, total idiot. <laughs> so much money on whatever that is. It's not even. We could have resurrected you for that. <laughs> That's true. She, she has a point. Right. We could right. actually true resurrect you even. Right, yes. right. So you would have uh, found what kind of powerful spellcaster to do that? Well, uh, there, we have really a lot no of time to sand, find sand, one. Arguing about this. We have a lot of time to find out. We have all our lives. Reincarnation. <laughs> you see, my, my, char my <laughs> character... keep him in cold storage. <laughs> yeah, that, he, he would have won. Just that. cast gentle repose <laughs> on him once <laughs> a week. Would have he told wanted. us that he would not want to live like this. <laughs> <laughs> So, it the, is what so the gardener reincarnates me into a fucking bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have fun explaining that to a guard. <laughs> it's awfully ugly for a diplomat, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, by the way, Grim, if you said your uh, resident has a base movement speed of 40 now? Yes. Okay. I took a level oh. of barbarian. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I, I just, I just wanna ask. That, that, that's exactly the first thing I thought. Did he take what? A, a monk or something? Guys, you know what? Mm -hmm. seriously, I just seriously. wanna want. I just wanna know. How can Rillanid really do that? I'll just do this, and then all oh, oh, the kingdom will pay. This was ages ago. <laughs> but but how can he do that when when we don't even? We didn't even have a kingdom. Well, you know, we are kind of evil and kind of selfish. Why, why is Tristan the only and, one who's angry about it? And if I remember, it was... Yeah. We cut the point stands, would you overall we lost Rillard? Actually, that might be yes. Yeah, so. We, could have, we yes. could have resurrected him for that, for that money. Yeah, only if we, we could, had found a spellcaster and I not guess, at the time. I guess yeah. it's kind of a loan. You know. Why didn't he pay with something he had? We didn't have, we didn't have the money for him. I don't even know what what what, what kind of shit did you get into? <laughs> what, like I got into like a gambling debt that I had to pay. <laughs> There's no real reason to get to. It was that thing about retraining the feet, huh? I'm not. I'm not saying it personally. I'm just. 
What the fuck? Well, to be honest, you you kind of are. It, it was an in character decision, have, I assume. So if your character wants to be angry, sure. Yeah, but ha- have you played? We we're gonna die. <laughs> We're not going to nah, die. we're fine. It's fine. Be okay. no. We have way more taxes. Now, if, if this meant we were going to die, then I'd be, like, that, that sure. would be a little... Like, you know, with, like, the massive consumption coming back yeah. to bite us in the ass, like, oh, no, he's got to die. <laughs> but but we do get three times for the Caster's Tower, so that's going to keep us afloat. We are in a decent spot. Even as we waste all this BP yeah. on, like, stupid <laughs> events. We, we have the Magister position filled, and our economy now is, like, 21 so we're uh, we're making a decent amount of build points, especially with Zen rolling. He's doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I rolled a five and a thirteen. That's not exactly amazing. That's Shh. below average. This session, I've been falling in and out of consciousness almost. Damn, man, a guy, what the hell, man? It's like when I don't do anything, I just sort of sit here and I just begin to slowly fall asleep. And then, you know, I understand. Did you drink, did you drink your tea? I think you should yes. actually fall asleep at some point, so I don't have to feel bad about falling asleep in one of the way of the wicked sessions anymore. I think last time both Norik and Tina fell asleep. So That's true. I, close I, individual stuff. I, yes. We need we need to to do more together. Yeah, I you know I, I I completely understood like having like the combat encounter. I just thought like, yeah. wow, they are really so overpowered compared to these humans. It's uh. Well, that's the point, right? We have every advantage here down here. Yeah. Mm. Well, humans don't go into the Underdark. You're yeah. just a dude. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, the encounter being constructed in such a way is that, you know, Zen doesn't even need to or wrinkle or don't even need to get involved. Like, the drow, yeah. like, actually catch the humans and just bring them to us. Yeah. I'm gonna leave, too. There's some videos I want to watch. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll probably, you know, as he watches with you. I enjoyed the session. I'm, I'm glad that we had it together. Yeah. It was fun. It's such a bonding experience, you guys. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. It was fun. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, it, it sounds. Now I actually just... know what the kingdom stuff is all about. I was not sure what to expect. I, I also uh, en- I also enjoy the the in character divisiveness. <laughs> well, playing Kingmaker taught me one thing: be freaking careful, or you because get trolls, raped. Right? Or you get raped by fucking trolls. Yeah. That was that was not. That'd be like if these humans had been like uh, all like eighteen level wizards. <laughs> <laughs> she would have been killed, and Rinkalar would have been killed, and we would have been told. Me to us like, form in two what? days. Like these wizards would be here quickly. Stop them! Be like, oh. but we <sighs> nothing. <laughs> anyway, nothing. um, night guys. Bye. I do not. I guess I don't need to say it. Uh, that's oh man. And you smoked them. I, yeah, I, I didn't think that it would be eight turns of uh, of payback. He's gotta be the richest fucking gnome ever. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't think eight he would, times four thousand gold pieces. I did not think he would become so prosperous with that fucking rate as to like totally like Probably, fucking. And you have like light rate. taxes that he doesn't have to pay. Yeah, and he earns, yeah. Like, it's more basically than like we do. a freedom of like from trade and imports. That's all I gave him. This little fucking red protecting him from that, and he's like spun it into this whole goddamn it. Thirty-two thousand gold just down his pocket. Uh, you know, you know, if he, if he can acquire powerful magic items like that, and he can if he can continue to do so, because Vastervolt certainly can't do that. Then, by all means. We we'll buy him like a merchant shop, and he can begin giving us a return. It's like, you know, at at the time, uh, it, it was like between chapters three and four. It was an investment that I made, sort of with casting the eye there, and I thought it would be something that I would need. That's how I got, among other things, the ring of protection plus two that was offered at that time. I I, I did remember that you suddenly got that. We yep. had nowhere near money for it because yep. it's a. So. Yep. I, uh, I I brokered a deal using items I had, plus diplomacy, plus the writ. Yeah. But, you know, DDS was all like, there was like some sort of awesome item, like a sword, I think, at the time. And DDS was like, you're just teasing us with that, how are we supposed to get that? <laughs> just, he, like, he did off. He did offer me the opportunity to steal it from the merch. Yes, like, there are certainly <laughs> plenty of chances for you at the cost of, you know... Destabilizing things. 
I remember where the wicket I rolled up like a plus five splint mail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Who cares about stupid splint mail? It's useless. Am I, am I, useless. In my case, okay, so I've never done any. I've actually probably done King Maker before, so I had no idea like how bad of like an effect like unrest, for example, was or anything. So it's like, eh, do I really want to rest this? Mm. You know, to some degree, we could have been much harsher, harder on those gnomes. Yeah, we could have killed them all, not given a damn. I think that jail will reduce unrest by two, so it's not so bad that we have to unrest. No, it'll pop it down because we did succeed the roll. And, uh, and yeah, for as much shit as I gave DDS with rolling the one there and somehow failing the stability, I, you know, Cold. high numbers are good numbers, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> I, I especially liked in that situation that it was pretty much, oh, let's let's let Rain Kalar roll it for no apparent reason, and then you give him shit for pretty much <laughs> failing what the warden should have done. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, your job. Yeah, you gotta shift blame, right? Yes, I was out on a walk, and oh, it's your fault. <laughs> but you see, humans, right? Yeah. Humans. I was like, oh, you're being humans, yes. Humans are totally worth why, the kingdom. Like, why, why, why didn't you blame Zin? He was the one who started the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has nothing to do with the economy. Yeah, yeah. Rain you know. is like, you know, well, I don't interrupt you when you talk. Well, That's actually, because I do my job. <laughs> actually, Zin gives a direct bonus to economy. Yeah, but not stability. He, he doesn't. He said economy, though. So, well, kind yeah. of. He's not directly responsible. He's only indirectly responsible. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Rain Kalar does give a direct bonus to stability, so what the fuck? <laughs> could have been. We could have been more lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saved the good. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, an extra, let's see, from those two diplomatic edicts, we could have saved an extra 6 BP there. I mean, how... Ah, we could have. Like, how... Do you think we would get more than two unrest for just killing that guy? I... You know, because I could... We could, build, we could build a prison for the cost of the money he would take. It's true. The problem is, and you know, since Jonas is behind this, the same reason why, one of the reasons why I offered this agreement to the merchant at the time, it wasn't just for the, the ring, but it was for a further idea of, like, encouraging trade, we don't know how this might discourage things beyond unrest. Jonas might play in the back room, like, because of this merchant's sudden vanishment, there is great distrust in other folks coming along the, the road, and then it gets back to Cladden Vault... And then fucking gnomes come after us. <laughs> yeah, I would expect it to have more consequences than just unrest. Which as stupid as gnomes going to buy up every single business in the city and have monopoly and everything. There's going to be no competition. In that case, the people will be happy if we get rid of them, right? Yeah. Nationalize him. Ah. We're not getting rid of him. We're just you know, acquiring his business. At a price to make it digital. fairer for everyone. Exactly. You know, clearly, you know, his deception, he, he's taken it too far, and for the good of the people, he must be handled. Oh, yes, the people. I'll, I'll, I'll spin it, yeah. I'll spin it. <laughs> we can say whatever we want, they will know. And they're for perfectly right, too. And... <laughs> what matters is that we don't have to deal with Virf Neblin blinding us here, okay? Yeah. That's what matters. If they knew, if they knew the power that they had in their hands. At least now Lanier can, can remove it. Right. Yourself. <laughs> if just at any point during that march from like Fast Roll to Vothis, they just one night. They just throw themselves away for faster Voth! I mean, but we have the money to raise an army. So. Yeah. They probably don't. We spend all that. Yeah. So that's how we ensure we just we just starve out fast of all, and they can't do anything because we're just gonna come kill them if they do anything. Uh, mathematics, mathematics wise, I suppose another thing we could have done was just have uh, Andaria, the uh, the magister from the start. But I thought it fit in with role playing reasons. The whole sort of yeah. distrust circum circling around her. I re I'm really tying as the rule or not to to sort of dominate uh, right. decisions. Yeah. Yeah, all, that is kind of Alanir's character. 
Just right. go with what she wants. That's not how I think this sh- this should be played out. I, I did like the whole concept of trying to get her in as a steward, though. If uh, the Zan ended up taking the Magister position, I thought that was pretty like good. Can't that better. Yeah. But uh, what can you do? Right. It is kind of what you wanted, so I have to find another steward. Nah, uh, you know maybe this this guy, this new Zan, in between like all of the research, wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, you know, It'd be steward, like doing her paperwork. I'm sure he'd love that. Absolutely. Uh, no, he's an ambassador. We can't really appoint him to uh nah. pop office. Yeah. It's fine. I I I I thought I'd have to market it to something like that though. I hope you didn't have a problem with that. I didn't no, ask. I, I think it'll be okay. I did say it's not officially an embassy. Right. It's not officially an embassy. I wanted to make sure we still got the benefits well, from that. We get all the money from it, like oh, we yep. paid it to get all the money. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then we invade the damn tower. I know. Build an army and kill him. <laughs> He's like stealing all of the 90 BP and like sending it back to the alchemist. I, I didn't think their economy would be so fucking high to get a plus three from the treaty. I looked at it like it says, if you don't want to determine it, just kingdom size plus 2d6. Yeah. I consider that might be. If so, we should get one with this because we're all. Yeah. It's yeah. a big, huge. Watch, they'll have like a less of a commie bonus. I uh, I am surprised I won on the uh, the negotiations against the alchemist. I thought he'd have me. I can't believe you tied on sense motive. Of all I know, I rolled the low sense motive and I'm like, fuck. Like, like the knowledge nobility, I was thinking, okay, maybe he doesn't actually have knowledge nobility. Right. But, you know, which sheltered but sense motive. Yeah. Sense motive, I expect his sense motive is like really, really high. <laughs> of, of, of all things to tie him on and get a reroll, it ends up being sense motive. Now, the white spider, I mean, you can probably win the, the, the diplomacy and the bluff. Yeah, I, uh, I think She's I got it. Right. Uh, probably unlikely. She might be quite intelligent. The sense motive quite... is most unlikely, as yeah. she is a cleric character. I think I'm going to actually roll the knowledges instead of take 10. I'm like, I have pretty solid take 10 knowledges. Wasn't good enough. <laughs> I was relying on lore master there. Oh well. I'm uh, I'm hoping for at least uh, one interesting mine to pop up. There's like a 15% chance of like that common metal mine and like a 5% chance of the precious metals mine. How much worth? Wait, how much is it worth the common metal mine? Common metal mine produces two BP per turn, and you can like since it's only like one third a hex, you can stick like a hamlet there or something else interesting, and then like a farm. I think the precious and the hamlet, metal, hamlet gives more. Yeah, one, right. Yeah, it gives like one extra. You know, and then uh, it it wouldn't be like more valuable, like from numbers wise, than orchards, but it would be variants. Yeah. Because with a mine, we could justify doing shit. I yeah. think the I think the precious metal mines, like the golden shit, gives plus four BP, but it also generates two unrest when it's built. Mm-hmm. Well. That uh, that'll quickly pay its its way back. Absolutely, it'll quickly pay itself. The back. price of reducing unrest is actually not that high when not it comes to that, sort of build high. prisons. Especially with the effort that was done before we started with this, this kingdom building shit during the downtime to decrease unrest from five to three. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you guys did that. I just assumed you talked to you about it. We did. We did. At least I did. I saw your speech, which was quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's three hundred gold for uh, for a reduction. That's you know, most decent. Absolutely. <laughs> I I actually paid six hundred gold. It was uh, <laughs> there was three hundred Zvirf Neblin, and they each got two gold pieces. Sure. Yeah, but when, when I saw you said that, it's like I think the population of states actually quite high. I, well, you you seem to always have tons of money, so I I you know it is wheeling it is constant wheeling and dealing and borrowing when necessary. Yes. <clears throat> like, uh, I owe uh, DDS some money. Yeah. I use that to buy my next magic. <laughs> yes. How many do you have now? I... Hmm. Let's you got take the, a look. You got the Are you gonna run out well? Let's see. I have, uh, I have five worn magic items right now. Actually, I, I have, have... I have... I have six, seven. The sword, the mithril shirt, the mask... A ring of protection, 
the headband of luring charisma, the cloak of resistance, and the new boots that make me faster. See, my- see, I have the cloak, the headband, and, and the ring. I have two. The sword and the sash. I'm still out of money. <laughs> I didn't even pay for one of those and I'm out of money. No, I, did, I, I, I paid for two of these, of course. Mm-hmm. But. No. Well, you know, uh, that long sword plus one we got like back in like chapter two or whatever, and I was like, I can use that, and I have. The mithril shirt we just talked about like last session. And that ended up going but, to me. But the mithril shirt means nothing to me. As a <laughs> the, mask, oh, the mask I've always had. The headband, cloak, and boots I made. And then the ring, you know. Wheeling and dealing. Is the boots that give you plus plus ten movement? Yeah, boots boots, yeah, you end up increasing my base speed along with my acrobatics. Well, that's pretty good. I know. The boots of striding and springing. Boing. 